tennis can be like a game of poker. You can't really reveal what you're doing right away. And you want to keep your cards close to your chest, as they say. So let's take a look at this point. Andrew's the one serving here. I'm the one returning. And so let's check this point out here. And there you go, a forehand cross court drop shot for the winner. So what do I mean by keeping your cards close to your chest? So as I hit this backhand here, um, and then Andrew hits this backhand, here's where I pretty much decided that I think I'll do this drop shot. And as you can see here from my grip and my racket face, my racket face is still closed and I believe I'm still in that Western forehand grip. I may be in the process of changing it right now, but I still have that forehand grip and I'm not revealing that I'm going to do any kind of drop shot or even a slice. And so as I see this ball come in here, maybe this is where I change my grip, but I'm keeping my racket close to my body, close to my chest, and I'm not taking it back quite yet, right? So I'm waiting for this ball to bounce. I'm waiting for this ball to bounce. And as it bounces here, I, I still have my racket in front of me. I'm not revealing anything. And, you know, I'm keeping Andrew here pretty much stationary. So he's waiting for me to decide what to do. And it's only until right about now, as the ball comes up from the bounce here, that's when I show my racket face. And that's when I revealed that I'm probably going to do this drop shot. I could still do this slice forehand, but it's likely that I'll, I'll probably do a drop shot. And whenever you see someone do this where they open the racket face, you got to come up right away. And so right about here, I do this cross court drop shot. But also notice that I still have my body slightly closed. When you have your body slightly closed like this, that down the line, a shot can still be a good option for you and that also tells your opponent that you may go for that down the line drop shot as well so he doesn't really know the direction quite yet it's only after you hit it after you hit it once you see that ball go cross court that's when andrew runs and if you perform it very well um you know no one's going to get this drop shot here and it's all in that disguise, all in that disguise, all in holding back your backswing here. And that's what I mean by keeping your cards close to your chest. You just, you gotta keep your racket close to your chest. And that's one way of disguising your drop shot. Someone like Carlos Alcaraz or many professionals, what they do is they actually go for maybe a forehand swing. So at this point, maybe they're still in this western forehand grip and it's only right about now that they change their grip to a continental and that's when they they perform this drop shot so if you can do that then go for it and but that's a little bit more difficult to do and i've actually seen some pros do a drop shot with a western forehand grip eastern or maybe semi-western maybe maybe not a full western but um, I've seen them change their grip a little bit, maybe only slightly, and some of them can just perform a drop shot from uh, that kind of grip. But it's a little tough. This way, it's a little easier. A little bit easier to just hold your hold your backswing a little bit, wait for the bounce, wait for the bounce to pop up, and then that's when you can do that drop shot. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.